Hello, this is Paul Hafner, ACO Application Equipment Product Specialist. We're going to go through setting up some of the screens in the Raven Viper 4. When you first get your machine and you turn it on, you're going to have a stock screen layout from ACO. And this screen is not editable. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is make our own screen. So to do that, I will go into the icon here with the squares and the gears on it. And here you can see that we're in the stock TG3 drive bone screen. So I want to make my own. So the, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit the double piece of paper here. And this is going to copy that screen. And then give it a name. And so now I have a copy of the drive boom set up. But now it's one that I can edit. So I can go into my edit on it. And then if there happens to be icons that you don't want or you want to move them, you can do all of that from this screen. So you can customize it however that you wish. And then when we come back to run, then our changes will be there. So down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see an icon of the monitor. And if we touch that, it's going to bring up some different views. Our second view is going to be our field overview. So this will show you your covered areas, boundaries, things like that. If I touch on it again and go to the very last page, and this is a customizable screen as well. On this one, as a stock setup, it's got our field um, coverage map on there and then a few other icons. I'm going to want to edit this a little bit. So again, it's not editable right now because it's grayed out. So I'm going to copy that one. I'm going to name it the same as I had the other one. So now I can edit it. And let's just say I can move some of this around. If I want my swap info. And if I want to add, one of the helpful things to have in here is going to be my ISO display. And you can have a large one or a small one. So I'm going to bring that one up. And then if you happen to have a machine, say with a camera or a division system or anything like that, it's helpful to be able to see those as well. So I could bring a camera interface in here as well. So then when I go back, so now I have my guidance view that will show me my lines and coverage. I have my UT screen as well as a camera setup. So if I need to go into the UT screen, I can touch it, make any changes, switch to a different object tool if I have it, and then I can go right back to my run screen. So this is a helpful place or a way to set up your screen to where all your information is coming together.